Hey guys, Running Kimono here. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving. And uh, that being said, if you're going to take today off from couponing, that's totally a-okay. Typically, a lot of these pharmacies, because I live in a little tiny town, um, they close early. But if you live in a bigger city, I'm sure they're going to be open all night. Just to throw it out there that in case you're going to get your coat on <laughs> in front of there, um, you know, sometimes they close the stores at like three or four o'clock here so the employees can go home and celebrate Thanksgiving with their families, which is really nice. But I'm just throwing it out there because it's happened to me before where I've like shown up somewhere and I'm like, what? It's closed? And, but just throwing it out there, guys, because it's happened to me before in the past and I've showed up and it's like the, the store is completely closed. So just throwing it out there. Always look online to and see what the store hours are or just even call and I'm sure they'll have no problem helping you out. Well, I didn't make a video on how to get organized for Black Friday, but definitely the 101 that I would follow is to get organized, have your coupons clipped and ready, have a plan of attack where you want to go, how long you want to spend there and what kind of time are you working with and always have a budget too so you're not doing um, deals that are not deals just spending money because it's something that's cheap are you really going to use it is this something that you can utilize Marie Kondo it will it bring you joy that sort of a stuff like definitely set yourself up a budget and of course always have a lot of fun and a quick little mail haul this showed up yesterday it's a mailer from Bath and Body Works so if you didn't get the the big one with, you know, the, 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 the 15 off of 40, that deck of coupons. This is a smaller one and it showed up. And if you might have extras um, that you are not using because Candle Day will be December the 7th, if you could possibly send me a quick email. I'm trying to collect a couple for a friend and they are almost impossible to track down this time of the year. So if you are not into Bath and Body Works, but you still get these mailers, please send me a, an email. I would love to get those coupons for a friend I'm trying to collect them for. Um, and I would be so, so grateful. Okay, guys, so this is the impressive haul. I was out right at 8 o'clock this morning. Yes, I woke up at 7.30 for this madness. Right here we have some Walgreens. The deals are on fire. If you consider that this is originally $9.99, and I got it today extremely cheap out of pocket. I'll show you how I did it with Fetch Rewards and a little magic. But they're $4.99 for a product that's usually like 2 for 16 I mean, this is just winning. Um, I got a really cheap curling iron too. And then um, Rite Aid was absolutely fantastic. I did have one snag and I'll talk to you about it in a quick second. It had to do with this but we'll uh, discuss um, what I'm going to do moving forward with that because I will be getting my $10 back. Also, little point to, to make when you're super friendly with the, the staff at the store, they will be like, you know, we'll make this right for you. So, um, but yeah, I'll talk about that in a quick second, but this is just on, on fire today. Quick little weather report for you. I know a lot of people who live in California love to see this or like the southern states. Yeah, it's looking like a, a white Thanksgiving here today and just the right amount of snow. And it's not that cold outside, surprisingly. But anyhow, hi to my mom if she's watching as well. So the first store that we have today is Walgreens. And I'm going to walk you through what I did. I did um, three transactions, which is, which is okay. So the first transaction, um, and I want to let you guys know you should be really careful when you're in the store. Because a lot of the Conair stuff, it's not ringing up for $9.99. So in the Walgreens app, you can actually scan the merchandise in the store to ensure that you're grabbing the right stuff. So this guy with the Thanksgiving Day um, sale is exactly $9.99. And that's, so when you scan it, you're looking for an item that's ringing up for $9.99. This is the three quarter inch um, curls. So um, got this one, $9.99. I used a $5 register reward that I had from Head & Shoulders earlier in the week. So my new subtotal was $4.99. Michigan um, tax is also included with points. So my new subtotal was $5.59. I used $5 in points and I paid 59 cents out of pocket. And then I got another $5 register reward uh, from Conair for this. So it just worked out perfectly for me. Guys, I broke this up into two different deals and this worked out really good for me um, with the Fetch Rewards app because in my discoveries page, I had 1,250 points when I bought one of these. I could do it up to two times, so I did it twice. But I also got an extra one because I figured out a really good deal. 
So for this deal, guys, I grabbed um, this for $4.99, this for $4.99, and then I got a filler item, which is a 59 cent sucker found at checkout because I wanted to use a register reward with this. And I knew because I had manufacturers for both that um, I couldn't use that regis register reward without a filler item because the coupon for Cottonelle was a dollar off one line limit one line limit two. This, the third register reward would knock one of those coupons out, so I needed this guy, or the coupon would beep. So anyhow, I, I put this in as my little filler item. So anyhow, guys, um, I had dollar coupons from a, I think it's from the November 10th Smart Source. $2 came off. Alternatively, there are $2 load coupons on most cards if you've been loading them as the month's been progressing. Plus I used a $5 register reward for this from Head & Shoulders earlier in the week. My new subtotal was $3.57. Now with tax, it was $4.17. I used $4 in points, so 4,000 points. I paid 17 cents and then I submitted this to Fetch Rewards and I think I got like 1,300 points, which is like $1.30 back. So that's just amazing. So I just love this deal. So I did it once. One more time, and this is what I got just to show you. Um, I got two of these suckers at checkout because I was using two extra register rewards to pay this down. They are 59 cents a piece. I grabbed this guy, which was $3.49, one of these Cottonelle wipes. Now I had a um, fetch rebate that if I bought the, the wipes in conjunction with the toilet paper, I was gonna get back like an extra, like I think like 500 points or a thousand points or something. So that's why I did it. Plus I also had like a bunch of different rebates on my fetch app for this guy. So um, this guy was $3.49 and then these were $4.99, $4.99. So all of that good stuff. Um, I used $2 coupons from the um, recent smart source to pay this down. Plus I had a 50 center for this guy. And then I used two $5 register rewards for these two. So the new subtotal was $1.97. Plus my tax, it was 278. I used 2000 points to pay this down. And then I think Fetch Rewards gave me like $3 and some change for this. So it just was a beautiful transaction. I used very little out of pocket because I was using my register rewards from the head and shoulders and the different toothpaste deals earlier in the week to make this happen. If you think about it guys, this is close to $10 if you were just gonna buy one. And to get it even for $4.99 this week, you have that dollar digital. There's just a hundred different ways to slice it and dice it that this is just a fantastic deal for extremely cheap Cottonelle. And if you have not signed up for the Fetch Rewards app, this is your lucky day. Sign up link in the notes. When you submit your first receipt, you could buy this last week. You're gonna be given 2,000 points and 2,000 points is two bucks. When you hit the 3,000 mark, um, you can get gift cards. So you can get a gift card probably this weekend if you photograph a couple of receipts. It's that easy. And uh, Cottonelle is part of their gallery that gives back extra points because they have a partnership with Cottonelle. So guys, I mean, this is just win, 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 win. This excites me. And I really thought Walgreens would be sleepy town, but man, it came together and this was just amazing. And just to let you know, it's on these 12 doubles. They also have one that's like six rolls that's also 24, but it's not scanning for that. It has to be this one. It's either the purple or the light blue one. Good luck, guys. Let me know in the comments what you're doing over at uh, Walgreens because this is just fantastic. You can hear it in my voice. I'm like, ah, I'm all excited. <laughs> so this was just absolutely fantastic, fantastic. Okay, the next store that we have is um, Rite Aid. And I'm just doing this one secondary because I know a lot of you do not have this store. So that being said, uh, we'll just talk about these deals pretty quickly. Now this is their um, elusive uh, Black Friday ad. Now, 
This coupon the cashier did scan for me at checkout and it's uh, $40 you spend and get back $10 in bonus cash. Now here's the snag. She scanned it and I did not get back my $10. The head boss of the um, store, like the manager, he's going to have to create a, a gift card for me um, because we were thinking about re the order back but since I got all my bonus cash back it was just going to be a mess logistically so anyhow um, I'm going to have to go back to see that but after everything said and done and I get my gift card tomorrow and he's super nice too I know that um, this is going to be like I think an eight dollar money maker for me which is fantastic let's talk about some of these easy freebies. Um, so the two Butterfingers, this is a special stocking stuffer for my husband because he likes that chocolate peanut butter combination. These guys are two for a dollar. And then when you buy them like two for a buck, you get back a dollar of bonus cash. So it makes it a freebie. And the limit for this is once per store card. These two little peanut butter uh, Santas, again for my husband for Christmas for a stocking. They're two for a dollar. You'll pay that dollar out of pocket and get back a dollar of bonus cash when you buy two. So the limit for this also is one. When you're in the store, really pay attention because this is the three quarter tape. This invincible tape is a dollar. This is the one that you need to grab. It's gonna ring up for a buck. And then you get back a dollar of bonus cash. And the limit for this is one. So this is a one, this is a one, and this is a one. So just be on your A game that you're not grabbing like two because they really messed it up where some of them are two, some of them are ones, you know. Ugh. You know what I'm talking about. The Planters Peanut, I grabbed two of these. They're $5.99 a piece. And I had a dollar off two Peely coupon that I had found at a Meyer, and it worked for this. And I think it was like, a it came off of a holiday kit too. Um, it's just like a nice little thing to snack on, especially if you're trying to stay out of chips because it's like the worst thing in the world. I know a lot of you can relate with my struggles. So anyhow, buying it for $5.99, I'm going to get back $3 of bonus cash. It essentially makes it $2.99 um, out of pocket. And then since there's a little three pack of... Um, these nuts is basically a dollar each. Now, basically I had a dollar off two, so this was like a 50 cent, it was like 2.49, so even cheaper for me. Um, but I was only, I only found one of those coupons. But now I'm done with this because I bought two, I got my $6 back, that is done. Now these Conair brushes, you can either get the elastics or the brushes, they are um, $3 a piece. You'll pay that three out of pocket and get back three dollars bonus cash and the limit for this is two so i'm done i went with the brushes because we rarely get hair brushes completely for free so that's what i went with so two little brushes three and me uh this is found at the back of the pharmacy near the diabetic stuff these are 19.99 and then i got back 20 dollars of bonus cash limit once per store card and this is also, um, the processing fee is also not included. So just to throw it out there, I think it's anywhere between 70 to, oh, here it is. For your ancestry, $70. If you want your health and ancestry, it's 170 So this does not include processing fees, just to note that. Um, If you are into flipping stuff on eBay, you easily could get a return on investment on this. What I would recommend to do is to have a couple of them and bundle them together for an eBay sale because you'll probably make your money back and then some. This little deal that I did was on the Kleenex. I grabbed four of these and they are two for two. And I had a dollar off to um, Rite Aid coupon that I used. So I paid a dollar out of pocket and then I got a dollar back of bonus cash. This also tracked for Allergy Club, spend 75 on allergy products, get back like $20 in bonus cash or something like that. And I also, um, so it worked for that. And it also, uh, I think for Ibotta, I'm gonna get back 25 cents for each box. Um, that hasn't gone through yet, but we'll have to wait and see in a day or two if that goes through. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now, the one thing that I could not track
The one thing that I could not track down at my store was the Magnavox earbuds. My store didn't have any. They didn't get any in a shipment. But in the past, those, um, sorry, cat fight. In the past, those buds are really, really cheap. I've gotten them the last couple of years and it's like, I don't know. This is not something that I really like. So anyhow, it is what it is. But um, I'm okay with that. Maybe if I hit up another Rite Aid in the next day or two, I'll look for some. But if I don't find them, it's not the end of the world. I mean, this is the stuff I really wanted. I really particularly wanted this and the peanuts. But happy with that. And um, I'm going to have to either call customer service or go see my manager tomorrow at my Rite Aid to get back this. So um, I got, I think I spent... Um, $41 out of pocket. I got back $37 in bonus cash after everything was said and done. It should have been $47 of bonus cash, um, but that's okay. And then hopefully, I think it's like a dollar back or $2 back for my bottle for this. And then I got back like 50, I think I got back like maybe 30 cents from Fetch for the planters, but hey, I'll take it. So anyhow, guys, that's it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Okay guys, so just before I head out to Thanksgiving, I just wanted to show you the power of couponing. Um, this is all stuff for my husband's family and this is only half of it. But just to show you like what you can do with your stockpile and if you are inclined to giving, like every bag is filled with stuff um, for brothers and sisters-in-law, that stuff that I think they'll really like, along with a whole bunch of paper products. It's a lot of stuff and it's a really great feeling when you can do this um, and this is totally unexpected too. So they have no idea this is showing up today. So we're going to have a lot of smiles later today when these um, presents are received. Often this is the funniest thing. Sometimes when people receive these gifts, they love it a lot more than a traditional Christmas gift. It's funny how that works. Okay guys, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.